Hello everyone, I'm making this video to tell you how to get all the different endings in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, or at least those I'm aware of. Before I start, there will be lots of spoilers here, so if you don't want to hear them, click away now. Also, when I say endings, I'm referring to the conclusion of the family story arc. To me, this is the real ending. Um, there are actually two more arcs, you know, the one with the cult and the one with Atlantis, um, which sort of happen in a vacuum. There are some variations there, but they don't depend on anything else you do throughout the story, so you don't really need any guidance for them. They're always the same, as far as I know. So I'm going to talk about the family ending, or the conclusion to the family story. Right, as far as I'm aware, there are four variations of the family ending. Towards the end, I'll mention how there could potentially be six, but more on that later. Right, let's begin with what I would call the best ending, which is the ending where the whole family lives and reunites in the end. And it's probably the ending that most people would like to know how to get. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that your father, who is actually your stepfather, lives. So during this scene over here, you don't have to kill him. You have to spare him. Now, later on, much later actually, you'll meet him again. And when you do, you have to encourage him to support Stentor and be there for him. Soon afterwards, Stentor will confront you and try to kill you, but then your father will show up and he'll break the duel, saving Stentor and kind of help you and Stentor make peace with one another. So don't kill your dad and make peace with your stepbrother. Next up is your interactions with Demos. In this video, I'll refer to Demos as a he and as my brother because I played as Cassandra, but it's the reverse if you play as Alexios. So when interacting with Demos, you must never be mean to him. You shouldn't push him when you first meet him. You should not try to kill him when the tree falls on top of him. And when you get imprisoned, during your conversation, you have to make him doubt Cleon. A very easy way to know whether you've succeeded or failed is at the end where Cleon actually shows up, he will start ordering Demos around, and if Demos just takes the orders without question, that means you failed and you have to reload the save. If instead Demos says that um, Cleon is not his master and he's not his puppet and so on and so forth, if he has a more sharp reaction, that means you've succeeded. In my personal playthrough, these are the choices that I used to persuade him, but I'm pretty sure there's more than one successful path, so other choices might work as well. And finally, when it comes to Demos, at the very end, when you meet him on the cliff, you should not choose to fight him. And the last thing you need to do, and I'm not actually 100% sure whether this is a necessity, but you should probably just do it anyway, is you have to promise your mother that you will bring your brother back. You have to encourage her that you're not out to kill him and he's not beyond saving and all that. Once again, I'm not 100% sure whether that's a requirement, but you're better off doing it. So let's sum it up. Do not kill your father. Make peace with your brother. Be nice to Demos. Convince him that Cleon and the cult are not to be trusted. Ensure your mother that Demos will be redeemed. And finally, do not fight in the very end. So that's all. That's all you need to do to get the best ending, where the whole family is together and is having a nice, friendly dinner and all that. All right, so that's the best ending. Next up, we'll talk about what I would call the worst ending, which is where everything goes wrong, everyone dies except for you, you're left alone, sad, at your house. People probably don't want to get that as an ending, but I'm going to tell you how to do it anyway. So here you basically have to do the exact opposite of what I said about the good ending. So kill your dad, kill Stentor, be mean to Demos, and do not promise anything to your mother. Except for one thing, the very final choice have to be the same. You have to choose not to fight him at the end, because this way he'll pretend to be nice and friendly, and he'll use that to kill the mother. So that ensures that your father, brother, mother, and eventually Demos, they're all dead and you're left alone. So that's how we get the worst ending. Everything opposite to the best, except for the very last choice. Right, now let's mention what I would call the bad ending, where it's just your mom and you. Now to get that, you literally have to do the exact opposite of the best ending. Or you can do the same as the worst ending, except at the very end, 
you have to choose to fight demons. Right, so that's three out of four endings. Finally, let's talk about the fourth ending. Now, the fourth ending caught me off guard. I was trying to get an ending where the whole family reunites, except only Demos is dead. So basically the best ending, except Demos is not there. Instead, something else happened um, that surprised me and I didn't expect. And that's why I call this the secret ending or the surprise ending, because that's how it felt to me. So to get this ending, you have to go down the same path as the best ending. So save your dad, save your brother, be nice to Demos, make him doubt Cleon, promise your mother that you'll bring him home. Except at the very end, you go, as my daughter once again um, enters the room. Delilah, oh. your poem. Mila, what do you say? And she's in the same place. What? And she's in the same place. Да, сега и ти си във видеото. Хайде, кажи, кажи, бай-бай. Бай-бай. Браво, хайде. Хайде. И тя иска да бъде видео. Ага. Right, so where were we? Um, I think I was talking about the secret ending. Yeah, so you do the same as you did for the best ending. Except at the very end, you do the exact opposite of what you've been doing this whole time and you choose to fight and kill Demos. Now, this makes your mother hate you, basically. She tells you she never wants to see you again and she tells you to leave Sparta and never return. However, since you basically brought back the house and the citizenship yourself, um, it seems she's the one who leaves, leaving you with your stepdad and your stepbrother in a very awkward epilogue. And there you go, that's the secret ending. And finally, I want to talk about the two more hypothetical endings that I mentioned in the beginning. The first one would be the same as the best ending, except you don't tell your father to go to Stentor. And when he confronts you, you kill him. So potentially you can get the best ending, but without Stentor in it. Will that even work? I don't really know, but it's worth trying, I think. And the second one would be once again the best ending, except you choose to kill your father, but spare Stentor in your duel. Now, some people have said that you can't actually get the best ending if your father is dead, which might be the case. And on the other hand, it's very possible that even if Stentor is alive, he will basically not have a reason to go back to that house. So let me know down in the comments if any of you has gone through these hypothetical conditions that I mentioned and if they actually lead to some changes in the ending or not. And that's basically all I had to say. Those were the endings I was able to discover and the things you have to do to get them. Please let me know in the comments, am I missing an ending or two? Are there more ways to get to the same endings? You know, whatever you can think of, post it down below. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I wish you all the best. And until the next one, stay tuned and be good.